Welcome back to Chips and Salsa, where we talk about security at Intel. I'm Krobe. And I'm Jerry. Our topic for this episode is Intel's transparent supply chain, which is Ooh. a set of tools, policies, and procedures implemented on the factory floor at PC and server manufacturers that help enable enterprises to verify the authenticity and firmware version of systems and their components. Right. And today we have a very special guest, Latre Shine. She's joining us from Lenovo to talk about their supply chain and our implementation of Intel's transparent supply chain. Let's bring her in. Well, hello, Latre. Could you introduce yourself and talk about your role at Lenovo for the guest, our audience? Yes. Well, my name is Latre Shine, and I work for Lenovo's Infrastructure Solutions Group. And what that means is um, I am responsible for working with our global product teams, our manufacturing facilities, and our industry partners to manage and reduce risk around hardware, software, and cyber threats. My job is to drive implementation around standards, processes, and tools that can minimize and eliminate any attacks by bad actors, such as the installation of counterfeit components, unauthorized access to our manufacturing facilities, and compromised software and hardware. So, you know, it's all about minimizing counterfeit fraud, loss, um, interdicted shipments um, that, that all may happen within a supply chain. This isn't Super a small, <laughs> yes, it's not a small feat. It's a huge undertaking. There are multiple touch points within the supply chain, multiple dependencies. So if we think about it, right, any compromise of a third party supplier could, pre could be a catastrophic event for any of the organizations within that supply chain, including Lenovo. So my role is to minimize and produce methods and tools that will prevent that. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty broad set of things to do. Um, so I I understand, so uh, Lenovo has a, a uh, supply chain process, but you've also uh, at Lenovo implemented um, Intel's transparent supply chain. And yeah. can you talk a little bit about that? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll start off by talking about our supply chain, right? So our supply chain, we have a global supply chain, right? Which involves uh, when a product is created in manufacturing to when that product is delivered to a customer's data center or facility, right? And, you know, typically supply chain. Typically, supply chain activities involve the transformation of natural resources, raw materials and components into a final product that is received by the customer. So broadly, we like to think about the supply chain as inclusive of, you know, this, this system of organizations, people, um, information, processes that are all involved in moving a product from the supplier to the customer. So um, it's, at Lenovo, that can include our external suppliers of the hardware components, our software vendors, our logistics providers, and our manufacturing. And I also like throwing a plug, right? Our <laughs> Lenovo <laughs> supply chain has been ranked by Gartner, right, as number three as, as a high-tech supply chain and number nine as a global supply chain. So we're constantly making strides to uh, improving our supply chain processes and kind of providing this tamper-proof supply chain. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and to go back to your question, um, we are implementing the Intel transparent supply chain. Um, you know, when we think about a supply chain, they can be attacked in numerous ways, right? We've heard about spy chip hardware implants, counterfeit components, tainted firmware, interdicted shipments. And so, you know, Lenovo's implementation of the Intel supply chain um, really seeks and focuses on identifying any possible counterfeit activity or firmware compromise. It enables the customer to know the when, the where, um, the what of all of the server components in their system, plus the manufacturing specific details. So, you know, our implementation, we do, we do a few things, right? So first, our uh, manufacturing um, does a comprehensive or collects a comprehensive bill of materials 
about every electronic component and every micro circuit in that motherboard. And we'll store that information to what we call an as-built data file. Um, next, that motherboard will then go over to manufacturing for assembly and every component, you know, hardware, memory, CPU, uh, is barcoded and physically scanned in inventory. And that data is also stored in a file. It's called the data platform file. Um, and then finally, we use an Intel tool, um, an Intel software tool that basically um, um, reads all of the software readable components of the system, including configuration information and firmware versions. And we store all of these details onto the secure chip that's soldered onto the motherboard. We take all of this data and Lenovo transfers, securely transfers this information over to Intel who digitally signs this, um, this data. They store it into a, a, a portal, a secure portal that the customer can access. And the customer is provided some um, secure credentials to log in. And there they're able to um, download essentially, you know, what we would call a birth certificate of their system. <laughs> uh, and that birth certificate, um, you know, provides some method of authenticity that that server um, is, you know, has origins where, you know, it shows where it came from and they mm -hmm. can trust it, that data because Intel digitally signed it. That, that sounds like you guys spend a lot of work around things like traceability and account accountability. Could, could you maybe share a little bit about how your program provides assurance to your customers around the, the quality of your products and the security of them? Yeah. So assurance is really about giving organizations the ability to determine if a product is trustworthy or not. Right. And so using the Intel TSC program, you know, like I said before, um, we're providing customers kind of a higher level of information than they typically would be provided um, in a typical manufacturing process because we're giving them a signed birth certificate. Right. And the authenticity of the components, it shows them the origin of the components, the part number of the component and essentially the serial number of the component, if one exists. And uh, do these uh, apply to all of Lenovo products or just a specific type of product? So if a customer chooses to um, um, get involved with the Intel TSC, they want to participate, then only those components um, are sent over to Intel and digitally signed. So we do collect all the data, you know, initially in manufacturing, but only the customers that sign up for our Intel TSC will have access to this data on um, the web portal. That's okay. And I was just going to ask that where, where can customers find more information? All right. If they, if customers want to uh, explore and find more information about Lenovo's uh, implementation of the Intel TSC, they can go to our website at lenovopress.lenovo.com and they can search for Intel transparent supply chain on Lenovo servers. And mm -hmm. there they will find a white paper that they can download that will give them more information. We'll also put the link right here. <laughs> <laughs> We always say that, but I don't know that it always happens, Jerry. Hey, you know, <laughs> when you're a one person uh, production crew, you never know. <laughs> it, it sounds like you folks have a lot of rigor and kind of a process to provide that assurance to customers. Mm -hmm. Is there anything kind of coming down the pipe and anything new that you want to share about what Lenovo might have planned for the future? Well, um, we're continuing to make, make strides on our supply chain, right? Like I said, Gartner has um, provided some great reviews of mm -hmm. how we're continuing to improve and provide, you know, um, you know, technology advancements in our supply chain. And in addition to that, we're continuing to partner with, you know, Intel, right, mm -hmm. who are working on some upcoming enhancements to the TSC program um, that will be coming out in the near future. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Latrey, thank you so much for joining us on the show today and, and talking a little bit about Absolutely. the Lenovo supply chain and your yep. implementation of Intel's transparent supply chain. All right. Thank you, Latrey. Okay. Thank you.
Well, Crow, it was great to hear from Latre about uh, how Lenovo is using Intel tran transparent supply chain and, you know, all the work that uh, kind of goes into that. Yes. And I think that is going to be a wrap for this episode of Chips and Salsa. Thanks for watching.